Hi everybody, thanks for watching. What you're looking at is a top of a 40 inch fence. So we have about three feet of snow out there covering what is a swimming pool. It is the dead of winter and I'm doing some inside work uh, because it's too cold to do it outside. So what I just did is finished, let the camera adjust, finished painting the dining room. And when you're doing a dining room or any room with an exterior wall, it's a good time to insulate your electric outlets and switch sealers. Now why do you do this? Well, when I pulled off my electric outlet faceplate, I noticed a breeze here, a cold breeze. And that makes sense because there's not a lot of insulation around here and it's an open box. Uh, if you want to insulate that, you can kill that breeze. It's not going to save you a ton of money, but it'll keep the room comfortable and it's a super simple fix. Go down to your local hardware store and you can pick up these. Let me focus. This is by Frost King. It's Electrics Outlet and Switch Sealers. This is enough to do 10 of them. It costs about $1.90, so about 19 cents each. Uh, I got a discount, so it's a buck, uh, buck 75. So 17 cents each. Uh, basically, it's a little foam insert that you cut out, just like the picture, put it there, and then put the existing cap back on. And what it's going to do is stop that cold air influx coming into the room, and it may save you a little bit of money, but more uh, importantly, it'll uh, keep your all your rooms at a little bit more constant temperature. So let's put this thing together. Okay, installing the electric outlet and switch sealers. This is fire retardant plastic foam. Opening this up, a punch out. So we'll use the one that suits our needs here. Punch out the uh, outlet cover. And what you're going to see is it just fits right over that very nicely, like a wool sweater. And that will block all that cold air from coming in. You can pop out the screw hole if you want to. And simply, careful not to poke your screwdriver in the outlet. Fasten that into place. That'll snug tightly and you've eliminated what can be a fairly persistent or significant draft. Yeah, if I would have held the candle up before putting that thing in, that candle would have flickered like crazy with the cold air influx. Uh, now, barely discernible. I can barely feel anything coming out. So, 10 cent, 15 cent, cheap fix. That's how you insulate an electric outlet on an exterior wall. Thanks for watching. Thank you.